The greatest danger facing Israel and the world is the prospect of a nuclear-armed Iran. And Israel is prepared to do something about it. The plan, Plan A, would see Israel launching a limited, surgical, preemptive strike, attacking with long-range aircraft and armed drones, firing cruise missiles from its submarines in the Arabian Sea, or launching its latest Jericho-3 missiles. But the Iranians have learnt from history. They have spread and concealed their nuclear installations across the country. So in this scenario, instead of hitting a single target like in Iraq or Syria, Israel would have to target all seven Iranian nuclear reactors. In this sort of surgery, many people die. The Israelis could attack uh, Iranian nuclear facilities, but they wouldn't be able to inflict long-term permanent damage. And Iran would have to retaliate. If Iran retaliates, every U.S. ally in the region or Israeli ally in the region is a potential target. Iran's ally, Syria, could also join in. Plus, Iran's proxy forces, like Hezbollah in Lebanon, would fire rockets into Israel. And there's the possibility of unconventional attacks on Israeli interests across the world. An Israeli attack on uh, Iranian nuclear facilities would likely only accelerate uh, the Iranian desire to obtain nuclear weapons. So this idea that you would attack certain facilities in Iran and leave um, Iranian retaliatory capabilities intact breaks every rule in the military and political playbook. So what's plan B? The United States and the international community are determined to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. The US military have had plans really since the fall of the Shah for military action. Cyber warfare is stage one. Stage two in the military sense would be Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bombs, or MOAB, Mother of All Bombs. This is the most powerful traditional military non-nuclear bomb that the U.S. has in their arsenal. There are also a new generation of bunker busters. An American strike would be neither limited nor surgical. And a massive American attack on Iran would be able to attack some 10,000 different endpoints, more or less overnight. Their plans would destroy all Iranian air and sea bases and hit all known nuclear facilities. Iran would be left in flames. The Americans would claim that these were surgical strikes, although I'm sure there would be uh, very, very considerable casualties, of course, but mostly off camera. If the US or Israel hit a nuclear reactor that is going at full steam, you have the potential of a giant dirty bomb and then the civilian deaths could be in the hundreds of thousands. This conflict, with estimates of between one and two million Iranian civilians dead, could get out of hand. You've got to be careful of unintended consequences here. Best laid plans of mice and men don't always come to fruition. Chaos theory can come into play. This is uncharted territory for both America and Israel. After such a massive offensive, Iran would fire everything it had left towards Israel it would launch wave after wave of attacks against Western targets in Iraq and Afghanistan and damage ports and oil refineries in the Gulf. The US would ask its NATO allies for support, dragging Turkey and the two nuclear powers, Russia and China, reluctantly into the conflagration. After the first stage of an attack on Iran, this could balkanize the global geopolitical scene into a new Cold War scenario. The consequences for the world as a whole are uh, a terrible return to 19th century power politics, which of course produced the First World War. The result could be apocalyptic. A new wave of global violence could follow, and soaring oil prices would be the final blow to a global economy in chaos. Are such doomsday scenarios bluff, psychological warfare, or is the world really prepared to go this far? <laughs>